this Thursday morning. In a heartwarming display of community support, the college animation department is helping make the dreams of a 10 year old boy come true. Kaylin Schumacher paid a visit to Drury University to take a look at a project and how a group of students are making a very big impact. Kaitlin, good morning. Good morning, Chad. You know, a couple of weeks ago when I got an email from animation professor Stephen Carpenter, he told me a little bit about a project that his senior class was working on. And when I heard this story, I knew I had to share it with you all. Take a look. When you walk through the doors of Shoemaker Communications Center, you can find a group of animation students bringing magic to life. Every year, the senior animators take on a client to collaborate on their final project before graduation. And I just had an idea that this semester, let's bring in a really tough client. <laughs> let's bring in a 10-year-old. That 10-year-old is Jake Douglas. But here's the deal. When Jake was only two years old, he was diagnosed with retinoblastoma, a rare cancer of the eye. Because of the cancer, Jake now has a prosthetic in his left eye and needs strong correction in his right eye. Jake has been working with the college students via Zoom on a story and characters to portray his vision. I created like a rough draft for the characters and then they like completed it and they were like, they made multiple de designs and I got to choose from them. Like Jake's ideas were just really fun in concept, but our amazing animators and storyboard artist Matt uh, flushed them out even more and made them even more fun. Despite the many challenges he has faced, his determination and creative spirit have inspired those around him. It's been amazing. Uh, I mean, you don't get every day to work on a film that's important for someone. From storyboards to 3D modeling, the animation department is paying close attention to every detail. Jake gets a lot of attention for what happened to him in his past. And so anything that helps him focus on what he's good at, what he's passionate about, what he wants to do with his life, for any time investment in his future and focusing on his future so that he doesn't have to spend as much time thinking about his past, that's for me as a mom what I want him focusing on. As for Jake, well, he has his sights set on where he wants to work one day. Disney, because it's fallen behind. So Jake is currently cancer free and his film is titled The One. It will be premiering at the Moxie Cinema on May 12th. Live in Springfield, I'm Caitlin Schumacher. I definitely think Disney could use him. Caitlin Schumacher, thank you so much. Rec